Hi, in this video, I'm going to give a quick demo of Leshy Sprite Sheet Tool. Leshy Sprite Sheet Tool is a web-based tool that makes it easy to create, pack, and modify sprite sheets or texture atlases just by going to a web page and dragging and dropping files. It also supports exporting sprite maps into a variety of formats. Now, this is very different from another application we have at leshylabs.com called Leshy Sprite Sheet Animator. Leshy Sprite Sheet Animator is for creating and testing sets of animations from sprite sheets. Whereas this is for creating the sprite sheets themselves, packing them, modifying them, and, and working with sprite maps. Now, files are loaded by dragging and dropping. So to start, I'm going to drag and drop on a whole bunch of ping files. Now, these are all taken from a game jam game that we made called Vampire vs. Vampire. And these are all individual ping files that I just dropped on at once. And as you can see, it packed it into one image file. And when I hover, you can see the where the individual ones are. You could also show outline to see that. There's also some options for changing the view, the background, and things like that. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, and you could pan with the by holding down the right mouse button and dragging. This over here will restore to view. The zero key also works for that. If we wanted to save this image file that's generated here of all the image files packed into one, we could just hit the save button. We could also um, save a sprite map. Now right now we're on a text format, which is just a very simple comma separated value format. It also supports a very simple JSON format, which should be very easy to parse. And it has another JSON format, which aims to be similar with the Texture Packer program, which is a common program for working with sprite sheets. There's also an XML format, which is as similar to Texture Packer's format as well. And the idea with these two, the XML and the JSON one, is by being similar to Texture Packer, all of the many libraries and engines and applications that support those formats already can hopefully take the files that we generate and support those as well. So you could export right from here into any of those if you, and hopefully it's compatible. We also have a CSS format. So if you make a sprite sheet, you can put all your sprites into one image file and then export the CSS where you can just use these CSS classes, put them on a div, for example, and then you could use the images that way on a web page very easily. Um, there's a, a binary format, which is just a tightly packed binary format, and then Here's a great one. This is image magic format. Now, image magic is a set of uh, open source utilities for modifying and creating image files. And in this case, we're using image magic to create an image file. So it takes all of the individual sprite image files and it puts them into one new file. And this is great because you can run this from the command line or as part of a build process or a script and you don't need to go back to the web page of Leshy Sprite Sheet Tool. You can just include this in your build process. And anytime you make changes to the assets, you can just rebuild them. So you modify one of the ping files, you rebuild it, and then you have this whole sheet again with the updated one without having to go back to the web page and repack or any of that. Um, if you use the text or the JSON formats, you can actually load in the built image so you can drop save the sprite sheet that ping and then drop that back on load that one on and then drop in the sprite map either from the text or json formats and that'll allow you to keep editing with all the sprites defined and the layout defined from there that's very useful so you could use that as a save format so you can keep working on the sprite maps and that way um let's start over here if we uh, go to new and then we drag in i'm going to drag in one image file now this is uh Platformer or pixel art set, I believe, from Kenny.nl, K-E-N-N-E-Y.nl, and it's just a it's a free set of uh, sprites for working with, for making platformer games, and now as you can see, it's one image file, and I don't have the mapping for this, so I'm going to I'm going to hit the remap button. And what this is going to do is it's going to take this one image file and scan it and find all the individual sprites in it. So now you can see it knows all the individual sprites rather than that. It doesn't have names for them, unfortunately. So if you click on one, you can see that that's sprite 159 and this is sprite 238. So you can enter names for them. The previous and next buttons let you cycle through all the sprites. And you could also um, use the left and right bracket for the same. Control left and right will only cycle through ones that are not yet named, which is useful if you have to find the ones that you haven't named. You could add more sprites in just through dragging and dropping as well if you wanted to add more to the sprite sheet. The Let's say we wanted to delete all of these because we don't need them. You can join sprites by hitting the holding down the left shift button while clicking on the second one. So it'll take the first one that's selected and the new one, and everything that falls within that rectangle will get added into a sprite. 
So now that's one sprite. Sometimes that's useful if you have a sprite that actually had space in it that you need to rejoin. And in this case, we just want to make it one so we can delete it all. So you can either press Control Delete or hit the Delete button, and then that sprite is gone. Um, if we want to repack, we just hit the Repack button, and it packs it nice and tight there. There's an Optimize button here, and what that does is it takes five seconds of randomly trying to optimize the layout and get a tighter packing. Sometimes it'll find something, and sometimes it won't. It's random, so you so it's, it doesn't hurt to hit it a few times and see if it can make it a little bit better. Um, I, f I think that's about it. If uh, you want more information on this, you should go to leshylabs.com. There's a link down below. And also check out the introduction blog post. There's a lot more details there into the file formats and the shortcut keys and all those types of things. Thank you.